Oh no, you're eating them damn worms. Oh, that's gonna smell so bad. Without context, that sounds really <laughs> weird. <laughs> eating them damn worms again. <laughs> GameStop. What a place. It sucks. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah, it's a big company. Well, did you get it? it no. Why is your face so static? Stop. It's like snatching all your Stop. hairs. I'm trying to avoid uh, you're embarrassing me. I'm really excited for this because we've done local GameStop reviews before mm -hmm. and they're hilarious, but we ran out because we had well, gone through all the local game stops near us. I was gonna say we ran out because we moved. And then we ran out of Texas <laughs> we and now out. we're ran full of a ton more. Because there's game stops all over the place here. This was actually an idea from someone I saw at a convention recently. They were like, you can do it here. The GameStop here sucks. This is bad <laughs> GameStop reviews. The first is a one star review from Colleen Bell who said, service sucks and manager is gross and smells like a dirty ashtray. Thoughts? It does kill the vibe, honestly. You ever go into an establishment and it just smells like a pool hall in there and you're like, oh. If I went to a GameStop and the manager didn't smell like a dirty ashtray, <laughs> I'd have to walk back outside and make sure I was in the right place. I disagree with that, but go on. Mark Bushel at one star. They were closed. You could tell from the outside that it's soft. <laughs> I shouldn't have started eating the gummy one. No, I was wondering why you, this is gonna be hell to edit. I thought it would be nice and casual if I was snacking, but it's arguably the worst snack I could have filled. Uh, Kim went to the bathroom and I changed my shirt, but I do have someone to fill in. It's me. Hi. It's me. It's also me. This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Both Tokyo Treat and Sakurako want to share the love of Japanese culture and snacking with the world. Tokyo Treat is easily my favorite box because it's filled with the popular snacks. You'll get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Cafe, latte, they're, they're coffee Kit Kats. Are you kidding me? Yeah, Tokyo Treat is great and all, but if you want traditional Japanese snacks, you gotta go with Sakurako. That's so good. You guys know I love hot coffee and tea and nothing pairs well with either of those like literally anything in this box because it's filled with snack cakes and biscuits and cookies. And all of these are traditional artisan and authentic Japanese snacks that are perfect for tea pairing. So this month, Sakurako are pairing with villages in Okinawa. These villages have the highest life expectancy in the world and we now have their secret recipe. So and Tokyo Treat's theme is Sugoi Summer, so everything is very fresh for the heat. You've got strawberry flavors and watermelon. It's so much fun going through the box every month and seeing what you've got. Like, I think this is a cola gummy sugar strap. Like, if you're not sure, there is a booklet that comes with every box that tells you exactly what the snack is. If you want to try either of these fun and delicious boxes, you can grab my link in the description down below. And if you use my code, you'll get $5 off your first first box. Whichever of these boxes you grab, I appreciate it. And thank you, Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring this video. What is? Oh my God, it smells like a banana. Travis says, I think R2D2 would be better as a goose instead of a semi-reliable droid. I firmly believe that C3PO has qualified for self-checkout manager training. When Skywalker displayed massive courage, Han Solo was like, TGIF? Five stars. Did he do that thing where you open your phone and you push the middle word every time and it just gives you a weird Oh, sentence? you know what? Maybe. How else would you you get whatever that was. You yeah. wanna do it right now? Yeah, go Let's on. Let's do it right now. Go on. R2, D2. We'll have a good <laughs> idea about the new house that we have to be on our way home. <laughs> and I have to get back on track. That predictive text thing is based on like how you talk and say things. And it ended with let's get back on track. And I was like, okay, let's get back on track. I don't like that. Bobby Hinkle. I love that name. I don't know why. Bobby Hinkle. Four stars. Had exactly what I needed at a very fair price. Had it ready for me when I arrived. Guy behind the register seemed a little offbeat, but it's a GameStop, so what do you expect? <laughs> It wasn't too bad. I think I saved that one because it was like, guy behind the register seemed a little offbeat. What does offbeat mean? Was there something on the radio and he was like drumming and he was just kind of off key a little bit? I'm just gonna call him Jay. Jake was very professional and helped me with my purchase. He is a great muff burger to have. 
Before I read this, I was like, I should probably Google what that is because some things come to mind. But even on like Urban Dictionary, yeah. there was nothing. I want to know what's going on with his phone. It had to be autocorrect manager. But why? I don't know, but he gave it five stars. And I love that it's just such a nice, very professional, help me with my purchase. He's such a good muff burger. <laughs> <laughs> his last name sounds like you pronouncing hamburger. Muff hamburger. Burger. Mike has failed to properly train his employees to to instruct customers that in order to receive a copy of a game, the process must be done online. I spoke with a female co-worker of Mike's around noon today about reserving a copy of a certain game that's flying off the shelves today. I was told that the store had four copies left. Great! I asked if I could receive a copy and stop by after the workday to pick it up. Needless to say, when I called to confirm my pickup, there were no copies available. Mike informed me that there was a one last copy being held for a customer that reserved the game online through their website. I was never informed that this was an option. Gosh, darn, Mike, you have forsaken me. <laughs> the whole time you were reading that, I was like, why did I leave this long, boring review Gosh in? darn, Mike. It's because Mike. of the end. <laughs> Gosh darn, Mike, you have forsaken darn, me. Gosh darn, Mike. King Midas the sixth, or possibly the fourth. Is it the I and the V is the fourth? IV is four. Yeah, yeah. I knew that. One star and get ready to go for a ride unless that cuts this one out the video. Customer service is at an all time low. Miss Lakeisha giving a three star. Lots of games to choose from, even good Zumba DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. What? Get me Zumba. Rock. Get the Zumba DVDs. I they Zumba can't. my way to the Ew. game store. <laughs> <laughs> this is a five-star review from Ed. Best pizza in PA coming from a New York boy. That damn Google Maps got him again. <laughs> Sorry, I just read the next one. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> This encapsulates a person who doesn't like going to GameStop. Sean, three stars. Thank the universe, my last kid is almost grown. He's finally free of GameStop. Also, no way his name is Sean Shawnee. That's not how you pronounce it, I don't think. Sawney. Sean Sawney? Say that five times, man. Sean Sawney? Yeah. His parents hate him. No, they- Just like he hates his parents, it all comes back around. Wait, did I say his parents? Yeah, you meant his I kids. meant his kids, I ruined my own joke again. Nah. All right, this one is from Cell. One star. Very bad experience. The manager that was there tried to rip me off. On top of that, he stole my controller <laughs> of a device. He was very rude to me and my pregnant wife and my four-year-old daughter. This happened on the 2nd, the 24th, 2020 at 12 a.m. 12 a.m.? I see a flaw in his story. Mm. They weren't open. I see a couple flaws because I think he's not quite sure how trades work. One, the manager ripped him off and I really want more information on that. I do, yeah. I'm gonna guess trade in. That I'm got guessing no Destiny did not yield the profits he was hoping for. Stole his controller. Didn't happen. Finally, he was very rude to me, my pregnant wife, and four-year-old daughter. So now I see a guy just stealing controllers and <laughs> screaming at babies. Okay, this one's from a guy called 420. But you know, okay. this is legit. One star was sold a broken pre-owned controller and now can't get another one for months because they're sold out everywhere and I can't use my PS4 for months to come now. Thanks for ruining my life. Please check your controllers and make sure they at least connect to a PlayStation. Thanks for ruining my life because there is no way I can get another There's not a Walmart for miles, baby! From anywhere else. Grayson, with one star. If I could give a negative star, I would. The first Wii U I purchased today was defective. The second Wii U I returned is because the console wasn't what I thought it used to be. Isn't that just the way with the Wii U? It is. But also a whole <laughs> lot of your problem, Grayson. I don't see why that second Wii U was GameStop's problem. I got such dirty looks when I walked into the store to return the second I Wii U. I bet you did! I don't like leaving negative reviews, but GameStop needs to retain as far as customer service goes. I will never get sad. Okay, I think the only reason I saved this one was the first one was defective, fine. The second one was because the Skyward Sword wasn't as that was the Wii. I keep butchering jokes today. <laughs> Can I just say though, I feel like GameStop deserves at the very least a two star just based on the fact that they let you return a console based on the fact that it wasn't as good as you based remember. On oh God. What? Oh, do I have to read this one? This one is wild, man. All right. Amir, one star. My brother died there and Gina is very rude to customers, but employees get treated like royalty. I'm sorry. Once again, can we get a teeny tiny bit more context? It's he put died in caps all too. Caps, so it wasn't a typo. He died at the GameStop. I have many questions. Okay. Okay. Jared Beck. Staff was very unprofessional as they were forceful with their judgment on what I'm buying. So what if I'm playing M-rated games? <laughs>
dare you judge me. <laughs> this was also the first time that I saw and heard staff members publicly cursing on the job and playing Pokemon Go on the job. Save it for home. I will no longer be shopping at GameStop from this point forward. That's a child who wasn't allowed to purchase Grand Theft Auto it 5. It has to be, right? Like if I went to GameStop to buy GDA, everyone's gonna be like, <laughs> You know, there's Animal Crossing, right? You wanna play that? You wanna play that? <sighs> that has boobies. <laughs> you don't see Tom Nick's boobies, that's all I'm saying. Tom Nick? <laughs> it's the worms, you got worm brain. Got oh, worms. <laughs> Got oh, worms in my brain. I got worms. Oh, all right. It was ought to be good. Thick Boy Incorporated. Mm -hmm. One yeah, star. Yes. This is his only review, his debut review. <laughs> Thick Boy's debut. I bought a game for five dollars and returned it and only got fifty cents. I saved it because Thick Boy. Oh. Okay. That was the only joke yeah. in that Thick Boy. I also, I guess, if we can read into this more, I bought a game for five dollars, mm -hmm. returned it for fifty cents. What did you think you were gonna get? Are you upset you didn't get? Two dollars? Why would you ever accept a 50 cent trade? Maybe it was destiny. <laughs> Did you mean to make a funny? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a bad, bad game. <laughs> Maybe it was destiny. <laughs> you didn't realize you did No, I did, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chris says, I would like the look in a dumpsters sometimes. You find some good stuff. I used to go dumpster diving. I went dumpster diving at GameStops and actually got some good stuff. Yeah, they do throw out a lot of stuff. I don't recommend doing that though. No, in most states it's illegal, but, um, yeah. All right, Jonathan, one star. This GameStop looks like it's managing to come back after a natural disaster. <laughs> Dirty employees who don't speak to you in generally a miserable place. Not sure if this is run by the same people who run the Ralph's Corner GameStop, but spend the extra time to go to the land sale Ralph's Corner GameStop. It's way nicer. That is such a good insult. Looks like they're recovering from a natural disaster. <laughs> Vinny! This one goes on a very, I believe if I remember correctly, sexist ride. Oh boy. So get ready. Okay. This is the dumbest GameStop. You wanna take a look at how he spelled dumbest? Oh, buddy. I was told that the Wii U controller can be played with or without. This guy, for someone who wrote that this GameStop is dumb and misspelled dumb, is saying a lot of dumb things. With or without the gamepad or any controller or... Again, he's written this really bad. Wrote this really bad. Can't make fun of him and then get it wrong myself. He's trying to essentially say he was told that the Wii U didn't need a gamepad and could be played with any controller. I went here and asked this dumb blonde girl at the counter. Mm. She told me you have to use a gamepad on all games and can't play without it. I looked at her like she's stupid. Look how he spelt her. Oh, buddy. I was about to say, I play games since you were in diapers. <laughs> Also, my father fix a lot of electronics and I learn a lot from him. Also, what does she know about games more than me? She only works there. This is reading like Charlie Kelly from Always Sunny. This is getting rough, okay? okay. Settle in, my little oh. gamer girl. She only knows about Barbie dolls, and that doesn't have anything to do with video games. Does he not know that there are Barbie video games? This place sucks. People don't go to this GameStop. Let me unpack all of this. Even I'm not sure if you can play anything without I the Wii U pad. There are definitely games that require the Wii U pad. Games like Zombie U, for example, need the Wii U pad. Let me do my research here, because it is a confusing question. Most games require the game pad. You can technically browse the home menu without it, but you need the game gamepad for the most part. I wouldn't recommend getting a Wii U without the gamepad at all. So she was right! Yeah. I wish I could meet this one. I don't think you want to meet him. I looked at her like she's stupid, but she wasn't. And I was actually the dumbest. All right, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, people like that really... Yeah. Yeah, try being a girl that works at GameStop. No, I, I'm sure. Rocco with a one star. An employee named Blake treated my family like second class citizens and made my child cry. We went in with the intention of buying nearly a thousand dollars worth of merchandise. I left empty handed and gave Amazon my business. I will never be back. Made my child cry? Do Elaborate! I... Adobe boo! <laughs> <laughs> Timothy P. I don't even know what this means. One star. That's that damn Google Maps again. Mystery. Two stars. Don't really like Pokemon at all. No, it's GameStop's fault. Too much Pokemon, really. There's nothing else you can get there. It's, it's all Pokemon. It's all Are we out? Oh no, really? That was the last one? Yeah, I was hoping there'd be a really good one. Well, there was, but I guess I didn't put a really good one at the end. Yeah. I wasn't done.
We've got to end on this. Okay. I don't think we're going to do no, any better. we're not going to do better than this. This was from a year ago. So the meme was well and truly gone. <laughs> Quinn with one star. Say it with me, Kim. Didn't, didn't have, have Battletoads. Battle <laughs> Ain't that just the way. Was it you that said you had Battletoads at one point? Yeah, or you did. just told people you had it? No, the thing was Big Chungus. We'd have kids big calling. Big Chungus. The kids were calling, going, you got that Big Chungus game? And I would very sincerely be like, yeah, do you want it for like the Switch? And they would like send their moms. Oh, they were seriously looking for Big Chungus. No, they thought it was a prank, but because I was so serious, uh, they were like, oh shit, it's real. Oh, I want Big Chungus. Yeah. I love that guy. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I love you. And by you, I mean you. Want my last worm? All right. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. If you like this, we'll do it again. We can go through New York stores. With then, Bob. Because that local to him. Me and Bob bitching about GameStop. Let's go. You and Bob have so much in common. I'm so jealous of you. We have the you. same hair now. <laughs> I wish I could kiss Bob. <laughs> Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> Bye. Um... Why are you still here? Go home. Well, now that you're still here, how about you follow me on Twitch? And Kim has Twitter and Etsy. You can follow her there and YouTube. You can follow her there <laughs> to support her and stuff. And then I have a podcast with Bob. My, uh, uh, this one. Yeah. Did that one. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Did you just realize that's what yeah. shirt it was? That's so sweet. Eh. I love you. Wow. 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 Oh, <laughs> the camera's off first.